Hello everyone and welcome back to another review video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Darren Real Toy FedEx 777 Christmas Ornament. So I feel like this is a relatively known of model now, but if you do not know of the FedEx 777 Ornament, uh, this was the only Christmas ornament that Darren and Real Toy ever produced. Uh, it was made from 2012 to 2014. Uh, I don't think it was made any earlier or later than that. All the ones I've seen are either from 2012, 2013, or 2014. So uh, the model is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, newest version of the FedEx 777, um, except it has the little string on it for the Christmas ornament. So um, I'm not really sure why Real Toy made uh, specifically this model, uh, specifically a Christmas ornament, or specifically why it made a FedEx uh, ornament. Uh, this is one of four FedEx models, with the other, with other three being, of course, the newest version of the FedEx Triple Seven, which was recently discontinued. Uh, this model has actually become quite hard to find now. Uh, if you do find one, usually they are pretty expensive. So uh, that was uh, the f newest version of the FedEx Triple Seven was discontinued uh, around 2019 to 2020. Um, I'm not really sure why it was discontinued, because to me it was pretty much like the UPS 747, uh, like any other cargo uh, model. So uh, it kinda, was kind of odd that they discontinued it, but uh, over the past couple years, this uh, model has actually become fairly rare. Um, not extremely rare, but relatively hard to find, and uh, you can still buy it, but if you do find one, they usually they are relatively expensive. So, and then the other two are the uh, both versions of the FedEx 8380, which came in the large play set. Uh, one of them, it has silver engines, and the other one has white engines. One of them is older than the other. So, and then there is the FedEx ornament. So, I'm not exactly sure if uh, the FedEx ornament and the regular uh, FedEx 777 was made at the same time, but um, the normal version might have been made a little later, but so... I do have one a FedEx ornament uh, triple seven that is actually already out of the box, so I will uh, I will be keeping this one new condition, so uh, that way the string doesn't get messed up at all. So uh, but I will be reviewing the box for this one, and then I'll be re re reviewing the actual model for this one. So um, the one that's already out of the box. So I recently got uh, the one that's out of the box from a trade with a friend of mine. And then I got the one that's new condition in the box uh, about a year ago off of eBay. So uh, that pretty much is all the information for this model. It is pretty much exactly the same as the newer version of the FedEx 777, except it is it has the string on it. So, um, But I do have the box for the normal one as well, so you can see the slight differences in them. Uh, the newer one, which is on the left, has a uh, orange outline, and then the ornament has the uh, kind of uh, bluish purple outline. So um, it pretty much is uh, all what's the differences, and also the fact that the ornament does not have the box art, probably because it would have, probably because since I had the string on it, it wouldn't have made sense. But and then the newest version has the entire FedEx box art image on it, so. Um, pretty much all the differences and then of course the kind of the description there and there is no FedEx labeled on the top of it as well The FedEx ornament ornament box is relatively simple um, Pretty much at the top of the box or kind of in the front top There is the triple seven ornament and nice bold lettering there and there's sort of a light gray outline over it Kind of like a shadow look and then there is the FedEx Express logo there and then the nice dark purple blue bluish outline that goes around kind of the clear plastic part and then there's Darren logo on the bottom and diecast metal and the authentic livery logo and the main thing i did find pretty funny about this was how uh there's a there's a really odd age thing here because usually they have the the um uh, no, you're not supposed to be any younger than a certain age to play with this. So pretty much every other uh, real-time model either has three and pl three plus or four plus. 
but for some reason, I don't know why the FedEx ornament has eight plus. So if you're seven years old, you cannot, you cannot touch this FedEx ornament. Which, uh, yeah, that doesn't really make much sense. But, so, uh, that pretty much is all the review for the box. Relatively simple. So, uh, moving on to the plane. So, like I said before, I did get this recently from a trade with a good friend of mine. Um, he gave me a couple models. So, um, so starting off uh, with the front of the plane. So, up at the front, there is the really nice FedEx Express logo, kind of small lettering there. And there is uh, pretty much the only one of two cabin doors. Pretty much the other one is just on the other side. So, and then there is the 777 cockpit windows at the front as well. Um, and then on the engines, there is the same FedEx Express logo as well. And on the back, there is a really small American flag and then pretty much the FedEx uh, logo on the tail as well with the white and orange coloring on the tail and then the purple and orange uh, coloring on the engines and at the front of the plane. So, and then there is the really nice purple kind of string that goes to it that you kind of would hang off of a Christmas tree. So, um, I did see there are a couple on uh, eBay. I did see that some guy made uh, pretty much his own custom uh, Christmas ornaments pretty much look exactly the same as these, but those are not actual real toy models. Those are just custom ones that they made. Uh, so this one was actually made by Real Toy. I guess pretty much just like exactly the same, uh, pretty much the same aircraft as the original or the uh, normal FedEx Triple Seven, except they just put this little hook in it and then put the string through it. So. Um, it's a really cool model, considering that is the only that it's the only Christmas ornament that uh, Darren and Real Toy that Real Toy ever made and Darren ever distributed. It would be cool if they did make other ones because it is a really interesting thing, and I really would like to know why exactly they chose the FedEx model for this. But uh, so this model is relatively rare; you can find it on eBay every so often. Uh, it's just, I think every couple months you'd see one. So. Uh, it's not really rare, but um, is relatively so. Uh, if you do find one, I do suggest that you get it because it is a really nice model. Um, usually, if I see one new condition, I would suggest to keep a new condition. If you see one out of the box, you can get it. So, um, but yeah, so uh, pretty much is exactly the same as the newer version of the FedEx 777. The only difference that I did find was pretty much just the uh, coloring on for the orange. The placement of the logo is pretty much exactly the same, except the uh, the orange coloring is a little bit darker on the uh, ornament than it is on the newer one. So uh, this one that I have was made in 2019, uh, May 17th, 2019. Um, and then the other difference was kind of the uh, logo on the tail the logo on the tail is kind of a little bit more neater on the newer one than it is on the ornament. Kind of on the ornament one, the lettering is a little bit, looks kind of like it's more smudged. But it's a lot more neater on the newer one, but pretty much other than that, it's, a, it's exactly the same. So, um, I have had this one for quite a while now. I got it pretty much when I started actually collecting the Darren Real Time models. I got it off of Amazon for Christmas, so... Um, and it's kind of disappointing that the Fed, the FedEx Triple Seven has been discontinued because it was a really nice model, um, or is a really nice model. I do wish it was painted though, considering that it seems like the stickers were kind of pointless, considering that it's, it really just has the flag and then the logo. So they really could have painted it on, especially the tail. All they had was the FedEx logo, but uh, luckily the UPS uh, Seven Forty Seven is painted now. Um, and no, oh, and another difference I did find was that there is um, kind of the half of the model stand hole on the ornament, um, kind of when Real Toy started doing the little model stand design, and then there is the entire model stand hole on the um, on the newer one. So, and then the manufacturing date on this one is, uh, is September 22nd of 2014. And then there is a different manufacturing date on this one, it's the same year. Um, Oh, actually, that is the same manufacturing date. 
It's interesting. I don't think I actually ever noticed that before. So, um, well, that pretty much is all for today's review video. So, relatively simple review. I just wanted to do one since I have the one that's out of the box and then the one that's in the box. So, overall, it's a really nice and interesting model. Um, one of the four FedEx models. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this video and remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.